yesterday I was told to see a man named Bill about a boat. This is the man named Bill about a boat, and I am going on a boat tour. These little islands are part of Voyager National Park. Only that area over there has some private residents on it, but it's still part of the park. We're in the middle now of open water on the lake, which does look just like open water on the ocean. It's really blue. called Ellsworth Rock Island in Voyager National Park. It's incredible. Look at that rock. It looks like a duck. Sorry I'm out of breath, but when I started talking to you, I was way, way, way down there by the boat dock, which you can't see. And I climbed all the way up these rock gardens to see the formations, which is pretty cool. Now, of course, somebody made these. And I didn't read this brochure yet to see who made them. But they're really neat. And it's on an island in Voyagers National Park. Now the crazy thing is that rock formations are being made everywhere. Like any hiking trail you go on, you'll find one. But they used to be, and they probably still are on some of those trails, markings to let other voyagers know which islands to stop at, and each rock shape would tell whether it had like meat type food, vegetable type food, fruit type food, berries, 
whether there was danger on the island, that kind of stuff. Now I don't know what any of these mean. And no, I didn't learn that from this park. I learned that in a history class many years ago. But pretty cool, huh? I really like it. And I believe there is a guest lodge on this island. But again, these things are only accessible by boat. Pretty cool. Look at that one. Oh, look. It's like a little chair on top of some sort of temple. Alright, I think there's a real photographer behind me trying to take some pictures. So I'm going to go the other direction so he can get what he needs. I know it sounds weird because I am out here taking video and taking pictures too, but when I see the real photographers out here with their cameras, they do step out of their way so they can get a great view. Because they take real pictures and maybe I can see them online or something and say, oh yeah, I was there and this was cool. I climbed all the way to the top of it, checked it out, and came back down. Oh, there's the sign. It's like looking for the sign. But check it out. There's another one of those Christmas trees. And I have to tell you, they all have like a really, really strong scent out here. And I know that sounds weird because trees usually have a strong scent. But these ones smell much stronger than the ones in Arizona. And these ones have like the thick, there it is. Where can you see? The thick leaves. But it smells amazing. And then there were these ones with these flat, oh there it is, there's the flat one over there. That one smells fantastic. I actually broke a couple branches off one yesterday and was trying to use it as a mosquito swatter. Yes, a mosquito swatter, because they were killing me. But if you look at how flat the branches are, you can see why it would work. And then they just have the buds on the end. But they're perfectly flat, so I was trying to beat the mosquitoes to death with them yesterday. It wasn't working. It was like a valiant effort, I guess I'd call it. And I have no idea what that is, but it grows everywhere. And since I did get poison oak once, I ain't gonna mess with these things anymore because I never know which ones are poisonous. But look at how vibrantly green all this stuff is. Oh, and this pine tree, which is different than the other two pine trees, like I told you, you can get any kind of Christmas tree you want out here. Look at the ends of its leaves, like curl up. Isn't that cool? A totally different Christmas tree. Isn't it crazy? I'm calling them all Christmas trees. Yes, of course, I know they're pine trees. But look at the bud on that one. Oh, is it coming? Look at that. I keep talking about them, and here's another totally different one. Crazy, right? Five different kinds just so far. And I can't find the one that was blue the other day on this island yet, but I'm sure I will. There was, like, I guess it's called the blue spruce, I would assume, because I know they had those back in New York at Christmas.